Hi there, it's Mr. Ransbottom from South Wirral. I'm the Assistant Faculty Progress Leader for the Humanities Faculty responsible for languages here at South Wirral. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a short video on accessing Google Classroom and remote learning from home. So as you can see, I'm at the school homepage and to access Google Classroom where all of our learning is, we're going to use the student portal link at the top of the screen. This is the student portal and there are lots of useful links for students on this page. The one students need to use to access their remote learning is Google Classroom. To log into Google Classroom, I need to use my school computer login, which for me is Clock J. And once I've typed that, I also need to add in at southwirral.co.uk. Then I enter my password, which is the same as the one I'd use to log into the computers here at school and click next. Then I arrive at my homepage for Google Classroom. Here I can see all of the classes I'm enrolled to at school. Inside each one of these, my teachers will post work. Today I'm going to be using test course 2020 to see what my teachers posted. So on this page, I can see the title of the course, as well as the meet link, which we'll talk about in a moment. I can see the stream where my teacher might post announcements or any new assignments will appear, as well as any upcoming work I have due. I can click on any assignments here to view them, but I can also view them in the classwork tab at the top of the screen by clicking classwork and then on the assignment itself and then clicking view assignment. Here I can see the title of the assignment as well as the instructions. I can see the private comment section in the bottom right, as well as a your work section. In the private comment section, I can ask teachers questions. Only me and my teacher can see those questions. So it's not anything that the rest of the class can see. So if I'm stuck, it's a great place to ask for help. I can see my instructions refer to using an attached document. That attached document can be found in the your work section here. It has my name at the start. When I open it, it opens in a new tab and I can direct, type directly on that worksheet in those spaces. When I'm finished, I press the turn in button in the top right of the screen to hand in that work. Returning to Google Classroom, if I go to the home page, go back to my test course. I'm now going to show you how to access live lessons. So on the homepage of my class, I will see a meet link. This might also be posted in a new assignment as well, depending on the teacher. So live lessons begin when they're normally timetabled at school. I can access them through these meet links. The meet links for each of my classes are different. So I've got to make sure I'm on the right class and using the right link at the right time. So I'm due to start my test course now, and I'm going to click on this link here. That takes me to this screen. And on this screen, I've got to switch off my microphone and my camera, and then I'm ready to join the lesson. So I click the join now button. Now I'm in the lesson. And my teacher will be here too. There are some really useful things on the live lesson. So we have the raise hand function, which indicates to my teacher that I want to make an addition to the lesson, maybe ask a question or respond to a question. And I also have the chat box in the top right where I can ask or respond to questions as well. And in the lesson, I can leave the lesson with the phone down button at the bottom, which says leave call. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email hello at southwirral.wirral.sch.uk.